It's all okay. Okay, will we let you go? Look at that. Ooh. We're gonna try something new right now. We've never tried this before. When we first got Kyle in our monitor, he was an eight month old wild caught Nile monitor. And now we'd like to show you his progress. Cue the intro. So here we are upstairs in the living room at Seven Coco's place and we have Kyle with us. Now we're gonna put him down and basically show you how we get him to not be stressed. Like he's still huffing a little bit, but oh, it's okay. But he's much better than he was when we first got him. Cue the clip. He's gonna whip me so bad. So as you can see, now I can have him on my arm. You can also see that he's grown quite a lot. He's about three and a half feet now. We're gonna put him down. We don't want any fear. Like right now, he's afraid. He wants to come <coughs> play. Oh, isn't it interesting? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. What we want to do, we want to get him to be interested in stuff. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, go. You can check it out if you want. Would you like to check it out? You can check it out. Okay. Yes. Hi, baby. You can do a nice walk. Yes. Hi. Yes. yes. You can walk when you're calm. Yes, that's good. I do have to say, you don't want to be afraid of getting cut. Obviously, when you're working with a wild-caught animal, it is much different than with like an F3 or F4. And this guy basically wasn't worked on until the age of eight months, so his initial learning curve was bad. And now we have to fix all of that. And that's basically what we've been doing for the last like six months, basically, since September. And look at how far we've come. You can see he doesn't have any interest in biting or anything. He just kind of wants to get away from me, and that's okay. We just have to reassure him and let him know that I'm not a mean thing. I'm just here for its safety, you know? And the more I can handle him, turn him around, get him to process, look, that's thinking, you know? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. But you did good. Not oh, okay. behind, but you did do good. Okay, now let's do it again. It's all okay. Okay, will we let you go? Look at that. Huh? That's what we came here to see. <sighs> he wasn't happy about it. The cat it. did not like that, but that's okay. That's good. That's great. Yeah, you're doing good. All right, well, he's just chilling there. Let's just go and pet. Yes. Okay, but yes. if you're going, I'm slowly, following. Slowly, slowly. It's with okay. You. Yes. The, the tunnel? Are you going to go in the tunnel? No, no, no on the side. Make him do the tunnel. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Bye. Oh, it's okay. Basically, the goal of this exercise is to get him a taste of what it's like to be free, and then eventually, you know, once we've done that a couple dozen times we're gonna be able to fully have him out and like do some stuff, right? And then we'll do like the misting and everything when he's out. And then basically over time, it'll just become like Cherry, you know? That's just kind of what we did with Cherry. Cherry was already docile. Kyle doesn't have that luxury, but he is doing way better. Like look, he's not even moving or doing anything. And that's the lizard that did that.
That was a pretty good clip, but it doesn't make for a really fun interaction. We like to, you know, make him think, but we're not here to hurt him, and he knows that for sure. Now, that doesn't mean he loves us, but he does tolerate us, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to grab him in my hands like I'm doing, you know? Now, what do you guys think about these tunnels? Isn't that a great idea for working with reptiles that might be a little cantankerous? It sure is working with Kyle, you know? He seems like he's loving it, and he loves exploring it. Yeah, you like that, Kyle? Mm -hmm. He's strong. He is strong, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You can definitely see a change in his attitude, though. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I can never get enough of this. Obviously, he still has some moments of oh, insecurity, yes. but you know. It yeah. He's not perfect yet. No, but he will be. Oh, yeah. He's doing really good for the time we had him. Yeah. And especially given the fact that we have to spend some time apart from them. You know, we can't go on training full time. We only can train when we're here. And obviously we do it every time with Kyle because he's definitely the one that needs the most improving. But you can see he's the one that's improved the most for sure as well. Even if he has some moments, one day when he's going to be huge, he won't be a problem. I can tell that already for sure. Right? You don't even have to actually hold him anymore after a while. So yep, you can just really kind of prop sign. him up. Like he's just holding himself right now. Yep. Huh. That's the best yes, part. You are. So we're going to try something new right now. We've never tried this before, but basically Roxanne had this incredible idea and it was more like a vision of him as a backpack, right? And I guess we're going to try that right now. That's why I have my hood on. So I guess let's do it. I don't even know what's going to happen right now. Might not be the smartest idea, but you know, it's us, right? Yeah, you can climb. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. Careful, he's gonna bring it down. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, Kyle. It's okay. Yeah, you can leave my arm. It's okay. You're allowed. Okay. Is that it? Go for it. Roll slowly. Ooh. Slowly. <laughs> Is that all his weight? Yep. He's not that heavy. No, he's not all that right. heavy. Alright, well, let's try. Slowly but surely. Yeah, You're gonna boy. try getting up. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, you're on top of the world right now. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now that seems like it's working. Now I don't know what it's looking like, but it sure feels like he's calm. Maybe he wants to explore, figure Long out what tail. he's doing. He's got the long tail, almost probably looks like I got a tail, right? <laughs> almost. But you can see, he's not going too crazy. I'm trying to be as calm as possible and not move too much. Yeah, but he seems to be doing great. A little bit of tongue flicks, not the biggest, but still, it's something completely new for him. It's so. completely new. He doesn't really have <laughs> areas to climb that much yet in this cage, you know? So. He doesn't seem like he's doing too bad. Mm -hmm. What if I go and take a little stroll? He's tongue flicking a little bit. He's looking around. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> that sure sounds fine, doesn't it? Yeah. So what if I do this? Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah? What if I try to pet him? Go ahead, try to pet him. Hi, I'm coming slowly just to pet you. 
Oh, I know. You're such a good boy. He's got some of his claws right on my neck, so we're gonna <laughs> just do that. Okay, now let's try to stand up tall without an angle, slowly but progressively, so that he learns. All right, so that seems like it's a pretty good positive experience for now. Before it turns into a disaster, we might want to go and put him back in his enclosure. So let's go do that right now. Toopee. Okay. He can go, can go Oh. The spray just started. Wow, the it's Mist King right in action. For everyone. That's great. We managed to just catch it in action. Alright, let's see. Do you want to go back in? In your home, buddy? Big tongue flakes. Yeah? Yeah, it's your home. You know it. Huh? Is he in? Yeah, well, he's starting to go. He's not pressed with time. I am. Hi, Kyle. Is it your home? Oh yeah! Yeah, good boy! Yeah, you go! Oh. Now let me just do this and do that. And I would definitely call this video a success. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to comment. I read every single one. Peace. Thank you so much for checking out this video everybody. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and if you really loved it, why don't you subscribe? It's free, you know?